Are you standing on the floor right now, Chef? No, I'm not. It's actually on my stool. <laughs> Master Chef Junior winner, Logan. Welcome back. I've been cooking since I was two. Wow. Yep, that <laughs> makes me feel like I'm Logan, like I, uh, I got a big kitchen at home. <laughs> Anytime you want to. When you eat what you cook, and I mean, once you cook it, you kind of got to eat it. Absolutely. I mean, giving it to the friends and neighbors is really nice, but eating it yourself is great. Now, you have to use onion just because, I mean, it's onion. Our sauce and an Alfredo drizzle served with crostini made from Olive Garden's famous breadsticks. That looks amazing, Logan. What is the second appetizer? Starting with the fresh baked Olive Garden breadsticks, we made the breadstick pepperoni pizza. So right here, we're just going to take our pepper, just run it under the water. Be sure not to use any soap. And the recipe that I'm making today is pasta with baked cherry tomatoes. I added my friend Logan Guleff, who is an amazingly talented young chef, to help me cook some Japanese Wagyu beef which is considered the best steak in the world. I read that you started cooking when you were two years old. Yes. Tell me, what does that mean? What do you cook when you're two years old? Well, well when you're two years old, there's, there's a few steps to cooking. There's like the, the really easy stuff like pigs in a blanket, um, deviled eggs, I did those a lot, and uh, making morning coffee for my mom. Mm. Logan! <laughs> It feels super surreal to have won MasterChef Junior. Congratulations. Good job, dude. Favorite moment of the show was, of course, winning it all. But uh, other than that, it was the Malibu pop-up restaurant. That was amazing. I mean, Gordon yells at you, like always. Malibu to Logan, yes? The 10-year-old Memphis kid cooked his way to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. A whirlwind two days took him to the Smithsonian to tour the kitchen of famed TV chef Julia Childs. Then, on to the White House. Today I prepared for you a Gotham meal consisting of a grilled oyster. Here are some of the things that we got today. I got a lamb shank. It's very delicious. It had a little bit more cinnamon than I liked, but it overall it was good. The gyro was nice, tomatoes, meat, all nice. The sauce was a little bit too overpowering, so I needed a little bit of lettuce. Jif Peanut Butter's most creative peanut butter sandwich contest. We've got the top five finalists. You know who they are? They are Logan. Raise your hand from Memphis, Tennessee. Was it a lot of trial and error? Yes. <laughs> One time we tried it with our relish with avocado. Worst idea in the world. Peanut horrible. Completely bad. I to reinvent the burger, so I decided that I would make it healthier, and I wanted to make it tasty, too. Because every nine-year-old loves burgers, right? Right. Okay, so you put some peanut butter in there. And, and that's yakisoba sauce. What it's is what? Yakisoba sauce. Everyone okay. has yakisoba sauce. What is yakisoba sauce? What is sauce? yakisoba sauce? It's a <laughs> Japanese stir fry sauce. Okay, is it a little sweet? Um, it's fruity. Okay, fruity. Okay, and some spicy. Okay, some spices. spices. Looks like you have some paprika, maybe, or no, that's um cayenne pepper. Ky wow, Logan. Yep, there we go. Did you put rub on this one side? No, no, I have to put rub on both sides. You can always sprinkle it generously. Okay, sprinkle it generously.